so considering the Thursday's game. UEFA, UEFA Europa League qualification round one, BPS against Olympia Ljubljana. Uh, today we have here Olympia's coach Igor Bishkan and uh, captain Branko Ilic. First, I will ask a few questions and then the media is, is free to ask theirs. Uh, first of all, welcome to Vasa for both of you. What what's the first impression of the of the city from both points of view? Thank you for welcome. We haven't had a chance to see a, a lot of the city just the part we've seen from the bus on our way from the airport to the city center, but it, it looks like it's a nice, quiet place, and uh, especially during those days, the climate is quite uh, similar to ours, so everything so far was, was, was good. What about you, Frank? We obviously came here to play the match, but nevertheless, the city looks really great. Uh, what do you know about your opponent tomorrow, VPS? Uh, I was watching the last couple of games, so I think I have uh, enough information about the, the players, about the style of play of our opponents tomorrow. Uh, I think there is a, a team which likes to play, to, to pass the ball on the floor, which is, which is always nice to see. And uh, it is going to be an interesting match for sure tomorrow. Ja, pogledali smo se že na sprotnika, dobro vemo kje so dobri, ne bi zelo te to odkrivo in mislim, da pripravljamo se bomo na tekmo čim boljši, da odigramo čim boljši in seveda, da kar je nado pomembno, probali bomo to, ki že zelo tega tega slep in ne bo pa lahko. Ja, vi so v kakvih igram, vi znamo vse vsekosti in vse vsekosti, da bomo bilo tako mač. We have our game plan. Then, media, feel free to ask your questions. You're in the middle of uh, pre-season, if you say so. Uh, how, what is the fitness state of your team? Uh, you're right. Yeah, we have just uh, finished our, I would say, second week of uh, pre-season, which is not uh, maybe ideal. Situation, but it is what it is. Uh, we've planned uh, to to our fitness uh, to be on the most the, the highest possible level for this game. It's a specific uh, preseason for us, and we, we need to adapt. We need to adjust. So, of course, tomorrow's game is not going to be our, uh, I would say, uh, the best physically wise, but. Uh, it is what it is. As, as I said, we need to we need to think about it. We need to not, we need to think about the next game as well. So uh, we we know everything about uh, our situation, and we are going to manage. It. You have uh, cup experience as a player. How much does that help you as a coach? Uh, it helps. Every every experience, experience helps. Whatever it is, and. Uh, uh, Cup, European Cup games and uh, European games in, in general are uh, slightly different than uh, domestic games. Uh, coming uh, such a long way from home is always a different thing, and we need to we need to be ready. We need to uh, adapt ourselves as soon as possible to be able to perform on our best. Level. Was it easy decision for you to take the post of the uh, to coach uh, after the three other have been sacked under the year? Uh, this is 
the life of the football coaches, you know, it's nothing special, it's nothing different. Uh, usually when the team does well, uh, nobody changes coaches, so this is something that's not good for the stability of any club. But it's a new challenge for me and uh, I accepted it and I believe that I can, I can uh, make this team better. Are you trying to make adjustments in, in the style of play now or how are you approaching your new job? Of course, I mean, every coach uh, wants to deliver his foot, footprint on his team. Now, as I said, we've we been be together for nearly uh, three weeks now and it, that's, uh, it's far from enough time to change a lot. But I have my own thoughts about the game and uh, with the time uh, ahead of us, I would like to 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 make my team play the way I, I love the game and I like uh, to play. If there is no... Uh, last, this year, last year, Finland hasn't been so good in the FIFA, FIFA uh, ranking and what do you think, are your players affected by that thing that you are kind of uh, at the day looking over, overlooking for this game that when it comes for the, for the smaller club and... Uh, I, I just, uh, my players and myself, we don't, we don't uh, even look at those rankings. They say nothing about individuals, they say nothing about the teams. We respect everybody. We've, had, we've seen enough of uh, this team uh, on the pitch to know that they earn and they deserve all of our respect. So for us that means nothing. Rankings that they don't mean nothing. Finland used to have and still has good players and uh, we respect them. What kind of result is uh, you are satisfied with from here? It's a usual story when you go away in European tie, uh, every result, apart from, you know, defeat is, is a good result. So. Do you think you need a way goal or are you satisfied with nil nil? I would, uh, would like to score a goal, of course, but as I said, every result, apart from the defeat, would, would be a good result. More questions. Uh, I read that you don't have the pro, you play pro license, but you can't be the head head coach on the on the pitch. Uh, uh, does it that affect for the team or, or style of? Uh, with, uh, it's true, I still uh, didn't finish my degree, but I will do it in the uh, next week or 10 days. But uh, we've uh, find a solution for me to to coach or to lead uh, my team tomorrow. We have another guy who is licensed enough to, to be there and I would uh, you know, prepare my team before the game and we will see if I can be on the bench or not. If not, uh, then we will have to prepare everything and then uh, my assistants will lead the team from the bench. When you find out that you can be on the bench or not? Uh, during during the, the, today or in early morning tomorrow? 